remade every mob into alphabet lore in Minecraft. Let's first remake this fox into F. Let's take the main part of his body and make that the top of the F. Then we can use the fox's tail for the lower part of the F. Now we'll grab his head and use it vertically for a long portion on the side of the F. And now we'll take the fox's nose and we can turn it into some teeth. Plug in two eyes and make him completely black with just his white eyes. And then give him some of those super sharp teeth. And we've got F in Minecraft looking ferocious. As you can see, he's in his final form having all of his gems. Ooh, he just looked at me. That was weird. <laughs> Let's grab something juicy like a creeper. Oh, it looks like he's walking over right now. Fires off a beam right at him. Just like he did to all the other letters. Wait a second though oh he took a munch out of him fires off another beam he's looking super ferocious and he also doesn't seem too happy of course we're gonna have to see if we can bring in the letters to take him down let's remake this golem into g rip off his head pull off his body and plug his arms into his old body to start the shape of the g now we're probably gonna need a longer sharper curve on this g and do this one more time to just finish it off dexter g is correct color and then he's got his face and mouth right in the corner here. We can grab a bit more of the iron golem to finish the eyes. And his eyelids are gonna hang way down over his eyes. And we've got G also attached to you as well as M. We all know what that spells. But let's see what happens when he uses an ability on this little guy. Oh my goodness. Three back-to-back -back shots. Does that mean all of these husks are gonna get hit all at the same time? It looks like G uses his abilities three times and then takes a short break. I imagine probably just a recharge. But all the way powered up is gonna be juicy. Let's make sure F doesn't stand a chance, though. We're gonna make L use in this llama. Pull off the eyes and the nose and delete the legs. And L's mouth and face are gonna be right here at the base of the L. Give him his droopy looking eyes, too. And of course, his tush. And we've got L in his mighty juicy looking hairstyle. And also his, uh, tush. Not totally sure which one of those he's gonna use to fight with and it looks like l is choosing to use his ability of deflecting all of the arrows just like he did in the video <laughs> look at that sly look on his face as these piglins are absolutely blasting him with arrows and they're actually hitting the piglins back and knocking them out if this works to reflect that laser beam from f that's gonna be huge but let's just bring in one more letter to secure this victory let's turn this moose room into m pull his head over here briefly, then pull this mushroom torso off. Tilt it and duplicate it to make the M shape. Now we'll pull this cow head back and stretch it onto the front and stretch his little mushroom ears to make the eyes. Now texture him up and bang! Mouth and eyes. Oh, and M is looking absolutely fantastic. His hair coming right from the center, looking delicious. His eyes just look a little bit lazy though, and a little bit far spread out, but his chain to hold his gem is bang. If you listen closely though, he still sounds like a mushroom. Let's see if he's gonna be able to help out this squad though. Cornering the husk. Oh, a beefy explosion. Another big beefy explosion. And it's doing AOE damage to any mob in the area. That's gonna be crazy. But it's time to see if G, L, and M can take down F. We've got F fighting in this corner over here. And we've got M, G, and L. Beefed up and ready for battle. M is the first to square up, walks in for an AOE attack, which actually may have hurt G. G is quick to respond with some projectile tosses. F is taking significant damage right now. But as he takes a bite, he regains health. Probably gonna keep him alive for a significant amount of time. I don't know how well it's gonna work with L, though. Another bite comes in. F is still remaining standing. L is just staring at everything over there. And down goes G. It is now two on one. F looks determined. This might be the end of M. And down he goes. F jumps back and fires off a beam, but it reflects back. But unfortunately, F may be able to step up and take a bite out of L. F is backing L up into a wall where he won't be able to get out. This is gonna be fight after fight. Moves in. Here it comes. And down goes L. We're gonna need some more 
letters, but I know a bunch we can make. I couldn't find a Q in Bob's, so let's remake this slime. Stretch him out. And Q actually has a kind of snail shape to him, which I guess makes sense. Couple of eyes attached up here. Texture him his sandy Q color with his longer eyes and big droopy mouth. And there we have the Q. Looking? How do you describe that? He moves pretty slow because he's just a little itty bitty slime. And it also kind of creates the effect of him slithering across the ground like he does in the video. Of course, we've given Q some serious strength to take down F. He can fire question marks at mobs and leave them confused. Or potentially, they're currently learning exactly what really happened to F. We can't waste our time, though. We need more letters. There's also no obs that start with X, so let's remake x from exclusively england brute remove his brute legs actually let's just pull everything off so we just have his chest stretch and tilt now we have our x then grab some piglin bits for a face and the bandana portion slam texture it with the unique x base textured on as well one of the beefiest chunkiest looking letters of them all x for exclamation because this guy is <laughs> Amazing! And to show you exactly what I mean, watch what X is gonna do to these husks. Bang! Karate chop! Smack! Juked him out and whacked him dead! Oh, and there he goes, duplicating himself, sending more X's out to fight all the other husks as well. As long as X could stay alive long enough, he could completely overwhelm F. But we thought we had it the first time. We've gotta be certain with some more letters this time. We can remake this pig into a P. Start with that old body from the pig. We'll use that to make the top of the P and then flatten up a pig leg to connect it. Take the pig head and use it for P's eyes. And there's not too much of a texture color change in order to get the P look. Of course, we'll also need P's eyelashes. And those eyelashes are looking fancy. P <laughs> looks so delightful. But don't let those eyes and that cute face deceive you. P is absolutely no joke. Ooh. Wax the husk targeted and hit. And bang! If F tries to get away for a beam attack, then B is just gonna charge him down. I could feel a victory getting close, but just a few more letters. Let's make O starting with an ocelot. Hold up this ocelot body right on top of his legs, then shift the legs to the top of the torso here. And bulk up those as well for the sides of the O. And we'll use the ocelot head as well to turn into O's head. And a little blue and a little white. And actually, the circle is O's mouth, so we just need his eye. Oh, shifted his eye down a little bit, throw his emblem on, and being an ocelot and all. I mean, previously being an ocelot, O is probably one of the faster of all the models. And these are gonna be super helpful when they all take down F. Frozen in place, X will be able to duplicate the entire time and overwhelm them. Even if F tries to come in for a fight, O will be able to freeze him so F can't regenerate any health. The only issue I could possibly see with this working out is the speed of attack. So we're gonna have to be able to take him down fast in his frozen state. Let's use this illager to make eye. Twist an arm first and move it to the bottom. Then twist the other arm and move it on top. Squeeze down this illager quite a bit. And of course, I will be needing eyes. Paint him his lovely color and his two eyes and his cute little mouth. Oh, this guy looks so cute. And O is still over here freezing everybody. Let's see how the two of them can cooperate together. I's actually gonna target this husk over here, which might leave him at a little disadvantage. Fires an orb up into the sky, and it shot all the way over to this husk. Here goes I again into the sky. Boom! And the range on this orb. Boom! Kapow! This final husk appears to be making a run for it right now. I don't know how useful that run is gonna be. We could bring in a few more to really help O out, though. Of course, we'll use a zombie to make Z. Drop his head and elongate all of his other parts. And then I'll just stretch it vertical, beef it up a bit, and tilt him. And now we could use an old pair of zombie arms for the top and the bottom of the Z shape. And make use of this zombie head again. Remove all the rotting flesh to give him some fresh texture. And then just give him all his facial features. This guy looks huge. But also, Z looks a little bit sad. I mean, seriously, look at those tears. Probably because this whole alphabet lore is happening right on top of him. So I figured there's a way we could put those tears to good use. He can cry onto mobs. 
Oh my goodness. Let the tears rain down, Z. It's like an auto fire model. Boom. And this husk over here about to go down. Those are going to be some tears of joy. But of course, there's one more letter to make. We could use this Enderman to make N. Just match up all his limb lengths into one big block. Then let's get three of those to make the total of the N shape. Drag on two eyeballs for him and texture him up all the way from N to I. And we've got N in his amazing final form. Look at all those gems down there. Look at that face of determination. Look at that multi-styled hair. And let's see N go off. Jumps back, fires a rainbow beam off. All of the power of every gem launching into that husk. Boom. That is the strongest yet. Combining every single power from every single letter. Centering it into one small beam to fire it off. And down he goes. We've got every letter we need. It's time for vengeance. Hello there, F. I've got Q and X and P. Oh, I Z and N. It's on. And look at every letter start to corner F. Locked in place, confused. X is taking chop after chop. A beam has been fired up by I that lands. Z is unleashing the automatic fire. X has already multiplied and F is taking some serious damage. Is he gonna be able to get any bite off? Not with all the shots coming in from Z. Not with being cornered around by X. This could literally be it right here. It looks like F is absolutely getting wasted right now. I don't think there's any chance of survival by F. He manages to get a couple bites off on X right there, but that's about it before he's frozen back up again. N has been shooting beam after beam all all the gems combined. F is doing his very best to try and get a bite off when he can, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. The tears are being launched. X is looking like he's in the number of 10 or 12 or 11. Actually, one X goes down, but it clearly is not enough because there's too many more just outnumbering F and down goes F. But wait, N looks sad. Everybody looks sad, especially Z. After a victory, maybe F wasn't so bad after all. 